Hey YouTube, so um, I've, I've been trying for like an hour, hour and a half uh, to get this thing to work. So I'm trying to use uh, my Abito version 2 adapter um, on my Tesla Model Y. Um, this is 2023, uh, 2023 model. I just got it a couple weeks ago actually. Um, then I bought this USB hub and I connected my um, Abito adapter to it and I couldn't get the controller to pair. Um, all the instructions that I found online, that they were uh, all over the place, so I'll give you a brief rundown of how I got it to work. Maybe it works out for you. So first step, um, just make sure, uh, this is going to be similar for both the Xbox controller and the Series X controller. This is not an Xbox One uh, controller, this is the, the new one, Xbox Series X uh, remote. So I'll go ahead and press the sync button right here. Just a couple seconds, it's gonna start blinking press the sync button on the top here for a couple seconds until it pairs up you'll see both uh, controller and the adapter syncing perfect you got it now very important step um, you want to switch your Xbox Series X uh, controllers um, well not the controller the adapters uh, mode of connection you want to change it to the Mac OS um, mode so and you have to do this manually at least just once though so for to do that you press um, the view button which is this one right here and you press the left so press this left and this is going to blink twice pop, pop. okay so you have the adapter now in Mac OS uh, uh, mode and the controller is already connected to adapter you don't have to care about this right now now back on the Tesla most of the tutorials I don't explain this, but you don't really have to do anything with the Bluetooth. Uh, most of them were saying, just go to the Bluetooth, add a new device, start search, and this is where people get stuck. Uh, you'll see the Abito adapter showing up here. If you try to link it, it's not going to do anything. That's because it's already connected. Remember, you're trying to connect it via cable, as, is, um, as if you are connecting a regular USB remote. So close this, don't worry about pairing it, go ahead and open your um, arcade and then get any of, uh, any of the games that use a remote uh, you should be able to see a, a play now game instead of the gray color thing now once you have it and this is fully wireless now right <laughs> you connect it and then there we go so yep <laughs> make sure it's uh, actually connecting right so there it is, that's the menu. You can um, down up, you see it's working completely fine. The buttons are going to be mapped with the correct layout. Now, if you by accident press view and the right button, the layout, the mode changes to the PS1, PSX uh, mode. So the buttons will also change to that, but you can use either one. If you're used to using the PSX uh, controllers, you can change the mode and still use the Xbox control as if it was a PlayStation controller. Um, now, these are the steps. Similarly, you'll do the same thing with the uh, Switch Pro controller. You hold this uh, button here to pair it. Once it's paired, you don't have to link it to the Bluetooth. Um, now, the uh, I know that the Switch Pro controller did connect via Bluetooth to my car, uh, so I've been using both controllers as is. As is. Um, this only works for like browser games and such. Uh, via Bluetooth, but once I connect it to the uh, Abito, um, if you switch it to the Mac mode, which in the Switch control is going to be the minus key and the left as well, um, you can play around with it. Uh, you can try any of the modes. Um, it's going to be the exact same thing. Now, I'll, I'll link both the Abito adapter that I'm using. It's it's the regular one that everyone's... I, can, I think you can even find it on Tamu or something, but I'll do leave the, the link in the description of both the USB hub and the adapter. Hopefully this uh, helps everyone out. I know that um, it's been a, a, a weird uh, a weird setup and there's not really many instructions for it. So enjoy.